Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whenever you're watching this. Hello, hello, Mabuhai. So today we're going to talk about how cheap things are here in the Philippines. Keep in mind, we're from North America, of course, Canada, to be exact, and inflation has been a problem for years. It's been building and building, and now it's just out of hand. But it's not exactly the same problem here as it is there. The reason we have all this inflation, multiple different reasons, but obviously we import a lot of things in North America. We stopped making things and therefore we don't have full control over the pricing and the cost of things. We also don't have a full participating workforce. Um, a lot more people are choosing to just not work at all and just stay at home. And uh, that has uh, exasperated, obviously, with the lockdowns. But here, not exactly the same. A lot of people here immediately, immediately want to go back to work. Everybody's working. Workforce participation is really high. A lot of things are made here that are available here. Not a lot of imported goods. When you do find them, sure, they're gonna be expensive. But there is probably a local equivalent for all of these things. And so that's why the prices can stay very, very low. Obviously, the cost of labor here is already very, very low. So when you are considering, and this video is more for people who are considering maybe relocating to the Philippines or spending a couple of years here, that kind of thing, um, and what the costs are gonna be, this, this video is for you because you can save a ton of money, especially if you're getting ready for retirement coming to the Philippines as opposed to staying in North America, going down to Florida or Texas to retire, you're gonna pay 10 times as much as you're gonna pay here. So I'll show you, I'll show you some examples. You know, we already did the budget video that was a couple days ago. Um, you can take a look at that and you can see how low our budget is. And we're not exactly living, you know, um, on a string budget. So you could certainly live even cheaper than that. But uh, we, uh, are pretty comfortable with our life and we're not complaining at all yes you could live a five-star life and everything but we're talking a five-star life that would be twenty thousand dollars a month in the united states or canada um could be four thousand here so five fold difference but let's take a look at the cost of some of these things first up everybody's favorite beer look at the size of this beer i'm kind of a big guy is a, I got a very big hand. This beer is enormous. Uh, this, this is gonna cost you 100 pesos. It's made by San Miguel. So San Miguel is a popular beer out here. Um, but this is their like bulk, huge version. And we like it. It actually tastes just like Coors Light. Not, nothing any special about it or anything like that. Uh, but not disgusting or anything either. It's really just what I expect from a beer. So uh, $2, $2 for this gigantic bottle of beer. We have too many of these at home, I gotta tell you. The price is fantastic. Red Horse beer, very well known in the Philippines, extra strong, not my biggest favorite, but it is 55 pesos. So this is a 500 milliliter bottle. Um, so you're looking at a dollar ten for one of these bottles. Smaller snub nose, San Miguel Pale. A lot of people really prefer this over the other beers, especially foreigners. Um, this is 40, 40 pesos, so 80 cents for this snub nose. So it is, it does not say how much is in it. Nope, so I don't know how big, that big. Then you got San Miguel Light, another popular one. Uh, we do like this as well. This is 50 pesos, so $1 for one of these beers. And this is just a standard beer bottle size. It's good beer. And then they also have flavored beer. And the flavored beer, they have quite a few flavors here. You know, uh, in the United States, Canada, having the orange beer, very, very popular. Well, this one is apple, but they have lemon, they have lime. They do not have orange, uh, but they have lemon, lime, and they have apple. Correct? Yeah, yeah that's it. And uh, so, yeah, 45 pesos, so 90 cents for this. And for those who like something a little bit different, uh, here's a sparkling pineapple drink called Cali. This is 35 pesos. 
So you're looking at 70 cents. Uh, this one is non-alcoholic. Are they all non-alcoholic? Okay, so they're Probably never novel. alcohol. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that one is non-alcoholic uh, non though. Uh, how much is a can of tuna? Large can of tuna, 45 pesos, so 90 cents. And for you soft drink drinkers out there, Sprite, Coke, whatever, um, mostly Coke products here. There is some RC and a little bit of Pepsi. Don't expect to see a lot of diet or the other type of drinks. There is some place you can get diet, but not all the places. Anyway, so these are 20 pesos, 40 cents. Still got the glass bottle. Isn't that cool? And super cheap. Same company, same recipe, same everything. A lot cheaper. And we got a bit of a treat. Right now, as we speak, the fishermen had just come in with their catch and they're selling their fish. Wait till you see the size of these things and the price. Look at that. Bird. Look at that. Bird. How much was that? 1.9 kilos. 1.9 kilos. How much money? How much pesos? Four, four 18. 418. 418 pesos for that yes. huge thing. Yes. Wow. That's crazy. So you can see all the fishermen come in from their catch. You just wander down here and they're selling it right here on the beach. Look at this thing. Enormous. It's so only 200 pesos per kilo right off the boat fresh you couldn't get fresher than that that's straight from the fishermen how incredible is that Of course, being in an Asian area, you're gonna be able to get a lot of electronics and computer type things or whatever, very inexpensively online. We have Lozada, we have Shopee, we have uh, Alibaba, and of course, Amazon. But none of that's really any different because in America, Canada, you can go on Amazon and get these kind of crazy low prices as it is. You can walk into a Walmart and actually get a 50 inch TV for 400 US dollars. You're not going to get that here. Uh, we just don't have that type of mass production buying that Walmart does, I guess, that massive buying power. And as crazy as it is, because it's a heck of a lot closer to where they're manufactured, where we are here, um, they just can't get down to those prices. So expect it to be a little bit more. So prepared foods, obviously, are going to be very, very inexpensive because labor here is very inexpensive. And uh, so like we said in other ones, uh, rotisserie chicken, that kind of thing. You're talking 200 pesos or $4 for a rotisserie chicken. Oops. For you whiskey drinkers out there, this bottle, it's a little light. I believe it's only, uh, well, it's 55 proof. It doesn't say the alcohol content. Anyway, it's 55 proof. Uh, it is only, get this, 100 pesos, $2. And the smaller size, like the Mickey, we call them in Canada, um, that one is 55 pesos, so $1.10. Super cheap. It works just as good, if you're not too distinguishing and picky. As a foreigner, you can pay rents as low as $100 a month, US. Don't expect much. Um, you know, and then upwards, uh, you can go up to $1,000, maybe even $1,200, but we're talking absolute luxury if you did that. Uh, so rents are very, 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 very inexpensive. Uh, condos have been going up in price lately. Uh, it's looking like you're looking at the 30,000 per square meter, 30,000 pesos per square meter. So it has been going up a lot in Manila, Makati, all those kind of places. Demand is picking up. And so prices are going with them. Also cost of building things, so materials that they have to import into here. There is 
not a lot of building materials manufactured here that would normally go into some of these really high-end skyscrapers. And so those are brought in different types of metals, uh, different types of wood. You know, you're gonna get only a few different kinds of wood here in the Philippines. And uh, that's why, you know, for our thing here, we didn't even consider using firewood because, well, you can't get firewood. And your, your palm tree is not really <laughs> wood. And uh, bamboo, I'm not sure even sure how that burns and I wouldn't even have thought to try. There's better uses for bamboo. So uh, there are things that are costing a lot more when it comes to building your own home. And so now, my understanding, and it will vary, is that price has also gotten to a point where it's gonna cost you around 30,000 pesos per square meter in construction costs. Again, I'm sure that varies dramatically. And there are still good places to buy land, very inexpensive, but 10,000 to 15,000 pesos per square meter for the empty land itself is probably gonna be your average. All right, I changed my shirt because I had sweat so much. It has been so humid today. We had a huge, huge rainstorm, thunder, let power out, rooster again, power outage uh, going out, out a couple times. And uh, all that rain meant the sun came out in the morning and the humidity just got incredible. Uh, it's not like it's every day, so don't, don't be worried about that. Uh, but anyway, back to it. So labor though is very, very inexpensive here. So when you wanna hire people, I know people uh, in expat groups, I see them posting what they pay and they have live-in maids at 7,000 pesos a month. So $140 a month. Keep in mind, the average wage in the Philippines, not the average doctor's wage, not the ex average executive's wage, because I know people are gonna be like, oh, the average wage for people here, construction workers, people that work in their stores, the markets, doing services, that kind of thing, is 400 pesos per day. So $8 a day. So if you wanna hire somebody to build for you anything you need, you can imagine to be paying in around that. Now, as a foreigner, you might get charged a little bit more and you shouldn't probably mind if it's just a little bit more. So it might cost you $10 a day to have somebody working um, for you uh, to get things done. Um, but yeah, like I said, there are people, because you're getting, uh, providing room and board as well as an income, and they're paying 7,000 pesos a month, 10,000 pesos a month, which is $200 a month, that kind of thing, for a live-in maid that takes care of everything and does her cooking and everything and takes care of them. Uh, so there are really, really low costs when it comes to things to do with labor. There are things that are gonna cost more electricity we are a bunch of islands out here so so electricity is very expensive so you got to keep that in mind but i'm thinking with all the sunshine that they have here year round solar one day may take over and this could be an energy rich country if it wanted to if it had the investment to make it but for now importing in energy and fuels that kind of thing well, that's gonna bring the price up. But gasoline here, it's no different than it was in Albania, so parts of Europe, that kind of thing. The only thing that changes is how much they tax it. Um, so United States, you're always gonna have much cheaper prices. Um, it's the whole world market is geared towards that, uh, giving the United States the best price. Uh, so you will lose out on the small things. But here, you could buy a motorbike, $2,000. Nice one. And just drive that, use next to no gas anyway. And uh, not on Boracay, but you know, only allowed electric here, but uh, anywhere else in the Philippines. And you could, you know, travel all over, explore this whole country, take the different ferries to get to different islands, that kind of thing. And you could have a great time. You could have really low rents. You could have really low cost foods, as long as you don't need imported foods and very specific brands. And uh, yeah, and you could have people uh, do things that you need done very inexpensively. There's no, uh, oh, I need a plumber and this is going to cost me $800 or I need an electrician and it's going to cost me $600. That's not a thing here. So uh, there's a lot of, lot of things that are very, very inexpensive here in the Philippines. And I'm competing with this rooster, so hope you don't mind. We, we have another video where we went to the bigger mall 
uh, the shopping mall there and we showed a lot of the prices there everything from appliances that kind of thing and the prices are really fantastic um, there are smaller like if you're getting a fridge here on the island you're gonna get a small fridge but it was only $260 brand new uh, so you know everything is geared to the area I'm sure you can get bigger fridges if you live in one of the bigger cities and the prices should be very very competitive again labor is a big part of a lot of these things and if the labor is done here we're not shipping it across the ocean to the united states or canada it's going to be cheaper uh but yeah you're going to find that most things you need are here you're going to be able to travel and be able to go 80 dollars for two people and be able to fly to the major capital and you know go and visit and resorts and the crazy malls they have in Manila, that kind of thing. And very inexpensive compared to, well, when I was in Canada, flights are extremely expensive. It would be $600 to go from Toronto to Montreal, which is insane, by the way. Uh, where in the United States, they do have better prices uh, for flights, but then you're gonna pay $100 for a hotel, that kind of thing, and not $20 or $23. Um, you can get way better pricing here. So that overall, everything in your life is going to be more inexpensive other than the items I pointed out and you can live here on a budget of 500 to a thousand dollars a month 500 you're not you have to live as a local but a thousand dollars a month if that's your pension you're good you can retire here and you can live very nicely a lot better than you could live in the United States Canada or whatever in the Western world on a thousand dollars a month yeah, there you're struggling and you're having a big, big problem. Here you're living a middle class uh, lifestyle and uh, that's really great. So that's it. I think that's it for today because I am still sweating so much. But uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind.